Hey guys, Majo up here, and welcome to the next episode in our 2D Java game per, uh, engine series. I've been on quite a hiatus recently. Life just gets in the way of things sometimes. So, I'm going to continue where we left off here and finish up this last video in the actual just like engine series. But to continue on, we're not going to just do, make the engine. We're going to start making a game. Alright, so let's finish up where we left off last time and where we left off was we could we made our um we made it these shadows but we had a problem with our alpha and that is if we used alpha images which image two i believe was alpha or either of them were alpha it caused problems and that's because in order for our lighting to work the lighting has to be rendered last and with our system set up, we rendered alpha images uh, very last. We rendered them after the lighting. So we need to render the lighting after our alpha images, which if we go look here, we render our alpha images here in the processing. So we sort it here and then we go through and we draw the actual images. Now we need to change this so that we have, um, we draw the lights here. Oh. Oh, come on. So that we, we draw the lighting here. Alright. Now, uh, just sitting here, I was thinking maybe we could get rid of the light map, but we don't actually want to do that because when we blend lights together, we want to blend the lighting together on its own and then modify the pixel uh, color. So... We're going to leave this here. You could try that. I don't think you're going to get a good result. You won't get the right proper blending. At least I don't think you will. So we're going to draw the lighting here. So we need to do the same thing here we did with image request. We need to make a light request. So let's go to GFX here and I'm going to make a new class. I'm going to call it a light request. And we'll make a constructor for it. Boom. And what it's going to do is it's going to store the light and a location to render the light. All right, so private uh, light light and a private. I might as well make it public. Doesn't really matter. Since public light and then public and location X, location Y, and we'll say light light and location. X and int location Y and we'll just initialize our class variables with the variables passed in through our constructor. Perfect. Okay, so now we have our light request. It's the same as our image request, but just for our light request. Now let's go back to our renderer. We're going to add it in. So we need an array list just like our image request. So I'm going to have a private array list of light request. Light request equals new array list of light request. <laughs> that. And we got to import it. So control shift O. And it's not being used. So now we got to actually use it. Now we don't need to sort our light request because lights don't need to be drawn in any specific order. So we can simply just draw it. So I'm going to add in the draw lighting here. So we're going to loop through our light request dot size. We'll iterate through our light request with a for loop and draw it. So to light, let's just follow the same format. L equals light request dot get i, and then I'm going to say draw light L dot get light L dot location x. If I remember though, our draw light. Let me just make sure I put this in the right order, quick. So this dot draw light. Yes, it does follow the format. I thought it did. Light and then location. Then X and location Y. 
Okay, so now we actually draw the light. Good. Now here's the problem. We do not want anybody using this engine to actually draw the light. When we when the user says, hey, the, the user, as in the programmer, the person using our engine to program, possibly just only you, when we, when we do that, we don't want to actually draw the light. We just want to add a light request to our light request. So we need to head on down to our draw light. Draw light. Here's our draw light. And I am going to make this a private void. Now it can only be called by our internal internal class and I don't want I'm going to call this draw light request because I want to preserve the name draw light and I, uh, and I, I, I want to be able to use that one as the outside method not the inside method so draw light request will be the inside one but to make it look nice Let's scroll all the way down here. It'll have a public void draw light, which will take in a light L and int off X off Y. I should have probably named light request off X, but you can do that if you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to say light request dot add new light request. And just add in our variables. So boom. And now if I scroll all the way back up here, because we gotta do one more thing. When we add a light and then draw it, we gotta remove the light from our list. Otherwise it's kind of pointless. So right here we're image request. We need to do light request dot clear. Otherwise we'll get a memory leak and that's no good. So now we render it. And even though they are alpha, we still have our lighting and we have fixed the issue. It was a very small issue and most of you probably fixed that on your own. But that I think is everything I want to add. We have audio, we have lighting, we have images, we have text. Um, yeah, I think that that's good for the basis. And I think this is a good place to call it the end for the engine tutorial itself. And next we're going to start making a game and we're going to actually make it because I'm going to record it right after this video is done recording. But we're going to hop in and start making a 2D platformer because it'll be easy. I'm going to be coding it from memory. Not I haven't coded it before, so hopefully it goes well. And 2D platformers, I've made them before. They're not hard to do. So comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching.